Screen Team Media. Yes. It's 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 very exciting. I mean, at this point, you're sort of the movie's done, and you're ready to sort of get yeah. it out there and see how people react, and you yeah, hope that they love it as much as you hope they would. You know what I mean? So it's a very exciting time. This taking one of um, the most it's beloved so authors of all time and one of his favorite that, like, personal stories and turning it into a feature film the were some so of the challenges we do and it was a dream come true. You know, well, I think it was, you know, the challenges were, and the main challenge was to try to make storybook and how do you make an hour and a half feature film that. So, so while maintaining the essence of his own great characters of the book, I think that's the biggest challenge. And finding a way to create, you know, take Dr. Seuss's wonderful illustrations, which are just super pending. Every day in the research, you were just three dimensional world. So, those are, you know, some of the big challenges in adapting something like this. And always, with, you know, with, with this book like this, which is very uh, dear to a lot of people's hearts, making sure that whatever you do in your adaptation well, is true. Well, what did happen was we had written quite a bit of a script before we knew that it was going to be Danny. And once we, we heard Danny and knew it was going to be him, a lot of the dialogue did change because it just helped you think of like. Well, I think what we wanted to do was, you know, sort of. Uh, in a, in a few places, yeah, certainly the Chocula Valley, Valley, we wanted it to be like just more beautiful that, that than anything you've ever to seen, just so you know what's at stake. What you know, and when it goes away and, and the trees are chopped down, you really understand that something was lost, something special. Um, and then in Needville, the town that we started in, which is also colorful and bright, our ideas were sort of basing it on, you know, uh, Las Vegas a little bit. And so it's kind of a fun place, but maybe a place that doesn't have the right balance with the outside world. Absolutely. I mean, the message of the, of the movie is the message of the book that was written 40 years ago. So I mean, I, I think that what was exciting about this is, is that the cast, they are the character. I mean, for us, they were always, you know, everybody was our first choice. I mean, every, and they just personify the character. I mean, Danny Vito, can you think of anyone else playing the Lorax? I mean, and, but everyone. I mean, Ed Helms is the one star, and Zac Efron is Ted, Taylor is Audrey, Betty White. I mean, they just all are their characters, and sort of perfect fusion of design. Yeah, uh, character design and uh, voice. Yeah, I mean, it's always time. very Thanks so much. Nice seeing you. Thank you. It's a message about taking care of the planet.